just on by the end of Title 42. Thousands of migrants gathered at the border trying to get into the United States. And this is what it looked like today. Hundreds of migrants waiting to cross over the Mexican border into El Paso, Texas. Many sleeping outside on the ground as they waited their turn to talk with border control agents. WKRG News 5 Shimani Baker is joining us now. Shimani, you talked with local sheriffs who have concerns about a possible influx of migrants here. Right, the sheriffs in both Mobile and Baldwin counties are bracing themselves for the possibility because I-10 and I-65 are such major interstates. Title 42 went into effect in March 2020. The rule allowed border officials to turn away migrants who were trying to illegally enter our country and those seeking asylum because of COVID-19 concerns. But Title 42 expired at midnight. That means migrants will be allowed to seek asylum, but under new regulations from the Biden administration, they will have to prove they ask for refuge. Anyone caught entering the U.S. illegally could face penalties and be banned from entering America for five years. Bill County Sheriff Paul Birch says he anticipates migrants will travel through our area on the interstate. You know, with, with having a major interstate system, you know, I-10 and I-65, certainly, you know, we anticipate some passing through. And you know, we, we already work very closely with Border Patrol and on a daily basis. So, you know, we'll be looking for ir irregularities. Baldwin County Sheriff Haas Mack is on the Border Security Committee in the National Sheriff's Association. In a statement, he told WKRG News 5 the sheriffs who are on the border are extremely concerned and overwhelmed by the depletion of resources in their area. The Gulf Coast region is particularly interested in the circumstances that are occurring because we are on the Interstate 10 corridor. We are receiving periodic briefings regarding what is happening. The sheriff's main concern is those who illegally make it across the border and human trafficking, especially involving children and, and smuggling illegal drugs. The executive director of Gulf States Immigration Services says it's uncertain if any migrants will relocate to our area, but if that happens, they have a plan. Our primary uh, responsibility is, as we see it is to interview people that come to us and seek assistance with, uh, with our immigration system. We then uh, assess their circumstances and give them an honest reading on what their options are. CBS reported nearly 60,000 migrants were waiting near the U.S.-Mexico border in El Paso, Texas yesterday. Sheriffs say right now it is hard to say how many migrants, if any, will come through or to our area. Live in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.